Welcome to the Daily Extra with Simon Borg. I'm Jason Seguini. Day one at the Adidas Player Combine is in the books. A ton of goals, plenty to talk about, Simon. A lot of stock up, stock down. But first, we have to talk about the goal that Dylan Powers scored. What an impressive goal it was. The entire sideline of coaches and GMs was ooing and eyeing as that, that ball was struck. Clearly the goal of the day, Jason, here. And bottom line, one of the themes, Dylan Powers already signed to an MLS contract. Him and others who already have deals in place ahead of the draft, they came out to play today. All right, well, let's take a look at our stock up, stock down for what we saw today. Simon, give me a couple of guys who you think helped themselves at day one. Well, I'm going to go with two guys a lot of people are talking about. Andrew Farrell from Louisville. He's projected to go number one by some. Questions about how was he with the ball at his feet and this physical dominance we hear about. Was it really there? He showed it in a big way. Very dominant, uh, great with the ball at his feet and also gave an assist, uh, a long pass, a long through ball on one of the goals. Then Carlos Alvarez, the UConn midfielder. He's the midfielder of the year in the Big East. He has class, pure class. Showed it a little in the first half, then in the second half, turned the game around for his team. They equalized in the end two to two, uh, but you could see the touch on his foot. He knows where to be, he knows where to show up, has a feel for the game. Uh, his goal was a nice one. His assist on the equalizer, equally brilliant. All right, well, I'm gonna go with a couple of guys a little less well-known who maybe aren't all the way up there yet, but I think definitely helped their stock today. The first one, Michael Bustamante. He's an attacking midfielder from Boston University, but they started him at right back today. Remember, there's not a lot of right backs in this draft. And if you watch the combine today, it looked like there were no right backs in the draft. But Bustamante did himself some favors playing at that right back position, attacking out of it. He did very well. Uh, defensively, I think that's where the questions are gonna be, but if you can afford to take him as a project, he was an exciting player. He was a soccer player. He knew what he was doing out there. The other player, another guy, really one of the last guys added to the combine, Alex Eastern. He is basically here as a youth international, more so than a college player. He wasn't voted into the combine like other guys, but he was added in because there were people who thought he had some special qualities. He's from Winthrop, a very small school. He did himself some favors. I think he's on everyone's radar now. They're going to be looking to see what he does over the next couple days. I'll throw one more name out there because I think there's a lot of people who are curious about him. Kakuta Mana, the young 18-year-old uh, who is uh, coming out of high school. I mean, he, he played some last year for the Austin Aztecs in the PDL. He scored a goal today. He looked, I thought he was very exciting on the ball. He knew what he was doing. He could combine with other players. Um, for me, he's someone who stood out because I didn't expect a lot from him at this young age. Simon, what about the players who maybe weren't as good as we had hoped coming into the combine? Well, we'll mention one, highly touted Blake Smith out of New Mexico. He's considered by some to be one of the best wingers uh, in the country, but in the game he played out on that left side, he was a little overshadowed by the left back who kept overlapping, and the left back was Greg Cochran out of Louisville, uh, and so he never really found the game. So Blake Smith needs to show up now in the coming games uh, to really leave his mark. Yeah, and Cochran, I thought, another one of those players who really did well for himself. I'll actually go with Blake Smith's teammate here as someone who disappointed me a little bit. Devin Sandoval, the big forward, people compare him to Steven Lenhart as somebody who can really get in there and bang and bruise. It, he didn't really show a lot to me. I didn't see him holding the ball, combining with his teammates, bringing the other guys in. Now, that said, it's tough to do that at a combine where you don't know your teammates, but when you look at what Eric Zavaleta did out there in the first game, the way he was able to hold the ball, find those spaces, bring his teammates in, you'd think Sandoval could have done a little better for himself. But Jason, keep in, keep in consideration that Sandoval had Andrew Farrell, possibly the number one pick on his back most of the game, uh, and Zavaleta did not. All right, well remember, we'll have plenty of coverage all weekend from the Combine, including dailies on Saturday and Sunday. We'll have full coverage of the games on Sunday as well. If you have any questions about what happened out here, players, uh, you know, stock up and down, how guys did, you can tweet at Simon Borg or myself. We'll be back with plenty more tomorrow from the MLS Combine.